going on guys welcome to the channel um, today we're just gonna have a little run through of some equipment um, on how we use it we're gonna be out on a day session um, so yeah if you like what you see like and subscribe hit them buttons you know how it is and yeah let's get to it
So here we've got a bait rocket. Normally use a spawn, but this works just as well. We're only fishing at close range, so it's probably a few quid from your tackle shop. Uh, the only bad thing with them is there's a little bit of polystyrene. If you look just down there, there's normally a bit of polystyrene that sits right in the tip, but unfortunately we've had to take that out because it comes loose and I'll put a pipe float in there. But for what it's worth and what you pay for it, it's definitely, it definitely works. It's good value for money. Uh, it gets the bait out. I'll give you a little test them out. So what I've got in this is I've got some pre-crushed blended, should I say, liquidized boily. Make some nice boily crumb. You'll lose a little bit just out the sides, but can't be helped. And just in the top of that, fill it about halfway, I'll put in a handful of pellet. A few boilies in. As you can see, just to top it off. Don't compress it too much or it won't come out. Just give it a little pat down. And uh, I'll probably leave it as that. And then we'll get that out. So first of all, make sure you're not tangled at the top of your rod. I like to uh, get a bit of line in on that. As you can see, it tangles, it's entangled anyway, but just to check the forecast, give it a little tug, make sure I've got movement. It's not gonna snap. Now for accuracy, you would've thought you would've won a nice long line, but it's better if you keep it short. It's a bit more accurate. Get on your peg. Swing it out. And I'm not clipped up, but I know where I'm fishing. I'm around that area, the particle's gonna spread, and it's gonna bring all the fish into the uh, swim. So I'm hoping, give it a little jig, drop out all the particle and the boily and the pellet all over the swim, that'll spread out now and uh, it should land us some fish. I've been getting some indications, some bites already. So we'll see, hopefully we'll get some nice fish in and the bait works. So I'm retrieval of the rocket. So when it's under the water and it's floated to the top, it just does that sort of action when you give it a jig and it drops all the bait. That's the method behind that and that's it's a good method, I like it. If you're fishing short distances and you don't need to clip up but you can just gauge it, you can just get that out if you're after a cast and there we are, you have it, the proof's in the pudding. I've only just put that rocket out and we've had bites on the left uh, on the right rod. So let's see what it brings, hopefully we get a nice fish out on it. When you're out on the bank on them nice cold days, you know what I mean? It's always good to get the grill out, get a few ribs on, a few bits of chicken, a few steaks. You know, start off with some ribs. That lovely line on them as well. Perfect. A little bit of bank so I took you can't go wrong. Wait for the fish, and then the rubs are obstructed, I can still get to my swim. Yeah, it's a nice compact little, little peg this is, but it works well. They'll be ready to eat soon.
So we're currently in the bivvy. Now I've got the ribs on, I've got the rods out. I've got the bivvy is not really set up, I'm only on a day session, so it's set up minimal. Quickly set up on a small little peg, so it's smaller than it normally is, but it works, it keeps the wind off us, it keeps us dry, which is the main thing while you're out on the bank. You know, you start getting cold, you start getting wet, and that's when you start getting miserable, and it definitely uh, negatively impacts on your fishing. Oh, it's tea time. Had a couple of ribs, so I'll just get the kettle on, kick back, got the steaks out there on the grill, ready to go. Rods are still out, still waiting for the fish to bite, but now it's tea time. So that concludes my trip at Jubilee Pools. Um, I've still got rods out, I'm going to quickly take them down. Um, no fish out today unfortunately, but you win some, you lose some I suppose. Um, the weather has not been too bad, as you can see the wind's been on me, so I've had every chance of catching. Um, if I just scoot round, I've got one just out here, just on the corner under this willow, and one on the other side. So they've been there, uh, I've been hitting the spots with my bait rocket. Um, yeah, so I've been doing everything in my power to, to get the fish, but unfortunately today they just haven't appeared, so like I said, you win some, you lose some, we'll be back next time, hopefully get some nice big fish out, but yeah.
Okay, so just a quick one. I've just pulled my first rod. Um, this is what we were running on the first rod, so it's just a little inline lead. See how it just runs down like that. And uh, again, with the hair rig we made last night, snowman boiling, nice colourful one, nice washed out one on the bottom. That normally works quite well in here, it sits just below the hook. Let's see if we can get in to see that a little better. It sits just below the hook. So when it takes, it's got enough, enough to turn, enough to turn and obviously catch. And that gives you the nice take. Okay, so now we've just got the second rod out. Again, we're just on a running lead. This one's a bit bit more fixed as it sticks into the nice little rubber stop at the bottom. Now these are only little cheap leads, but they work well. Um, again, just a snowman rig, nice washed out boilie. Not too far above a hook, sits nicely on it. It's got enough movement to get that nice snag again and uh, hook into the fish and that should do quite well. Good session, good session. Clear, rods away, everything's in the truck. Uh, cleared all, all my rubbish, we take everything with us, make sure it's nice and clean for the next time we come and the next person to come across. This peg wants to fish it and it's nice and presentable. But it's been a good day nonetheless, it's good to be out and yeah, thank you for joining me.